guys, today we are taking a look at an interesting project. An architect is designing a house for the Mehta family. This is the plan of the living room in the form of a rectangle whose length is 20 feet and breadth is 12 feet. But Mr. Mehta is not happy with the plan. He asked the architect to increase the breadth of the living room by 2 feet to have a bookshelf on one side. The new dimensions of the room will be 20 feet by 12 plus 2 feet. This makes the area of the living room. 20 times 12 plus 2. How do we find this area? We can use the distributive property to simplify this multiplication. Wherein we multiply 20 by 12 and add this to the product of 20 by 2 to get 280 square feet as the area. Now, here is the plan for the dining area, whose length is x feet and the breadth is y plus 2 feet. So the area is x multiplied by y plus 2. We can apply the same distributive property to multiply algebraic expressions as well. x is a monomial and y plus 2 is a binomial. The area is a product of a monomial by a binomial. Each term of the binomial represents a part of the breadth of the rectangular dining area. We apply the distributive property and multiply the monomial x with each term of the binomial y and 2 separately, which is x times y, xy and x times 2, 2x. Notice that xy represents the area of the region 1 and 2x represents the area of the region 2. The product of the expression is the sum of areas of both the regions, which is xy plus 2x square feet. It is the area of the entire dining area. The concept of distributive property can be extended to multiplying a monomial with any polynomial. Consider x multiplied by x plus y plus 2. This is a monomial multiplied by a trinomial. Applying the distributive property, we multiply the monomial x with each term of the trinomial x, y and 2 separately to get x times x plus x times y plus x times 2. This simplifies to x square plus xy plus 2x. Remember, the distributive property allows us to distribute multiplication over addition or subtraction. So to simplify any expression, we just have to apply the distributive property. That's all for today. See you next time.